Hello, my name is Stuart Wood and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here to this channel and you like all types of things to do with photography, particularly macro photography, then press the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified when new videos go live. Now in this video, I'm going to cover what I brought from the Spider Show. Okay, now the first thing I want to show you are these. These are beech leaves, farm dried leaves. These, I think, will make for a great photo shoot. What I can do is put these down, uh, like I've cut it in previous videos. Uh, the background and the scene that you set up for your macro photography is very important. And I think these will come in quite handy. Now, um, late last year, I did a photo shoot with Missy, and we did video as well at my friend's house, and we used uh, old leaves like this. So, yeah, these are going to be very interesting to photograph. Plus, because they are for uh, terrariums and for uh, spiders, we know there's no chemicals on there. Unlike if I go outside, I know my garden's pretty safe, but if I was to pick something up from somewhere else, I don't know if something's been sprayed on those um, on those leaves or twigs um, that might harm the spiders. Okay, so I've got those. These, they're very cheap. I mean, they're like, what, £2 for a bag of these? So, yeah, they can reuse them which is great. So we're going to be making use of those. We have here, we have cork bark. We've got four pieces of cork bark for £2.50. That's an awesome price for cork bark. And what I'm going to be able to do is place this down. Imagine you've got the, um, the leaves spread out, put the bark, the, the, the cork. Cork. What the hell is a cork? Here, yeah, so if you look here, that is a very nice piece of bark. We have the underside as well that we can photograph. So what we'll do is we'll place our subject on the bark, okay? And with the depth, low depth of field, we're going to get some nice texture when we photograph something on this bark. It's going to be very interesting. So imagine if we have the leaves, we can spread those out, and then we can put the uh, the cork bark onto the uh, the leaves, and it will give us a nice little scene for macro photography. I also found this. I have no idea what it is, but that alone photographing that is going to be interesting on macro uh, it's got a lot of texture there's lots of places where the spiders or our subjects i should say because we haven't got just spiders now uh, there's a lot of places where our subjects can go and might give us an interesting picture now unfortunately when we went there there was no substrate they'd sold out so on the way home we went and got this i'm just going to cover up where i got it from um, but what we are going to do is we're going to rehouse the tarantulas in the next couple of days. Uh, my daughter wants to photograph her tarantula, so that's going to be an interesting video, so stay tuned for that. So um, when it comes to the tarantulas, I don't like to disturb them too much. So while we're rehousing them, we're going to photograph them. That way we can hit two birds with one stone and do as least amount of disturbance to the tarantulas as possible. That's what we got that for. So let's get on to some interesting things I bought. Now these here are isopods, and what you probably recognise them as as a um, as wood lice. But these are not common ones; they are dark. They have a brown brownish colour around their outside, and they have white spots. Now these are going to be very interesting to photograph. Very very interesting because it's going to be a very hard subject to photograph. So that's something that I'm looking forward to um, trying out, is to photograph those. And finally, what we have here is our orchid mantis. And this thing is absolutely beautiful. It resembles an orchid flower, and I'm, I'm assuming it does that so it captures its prey. We're going to be photographing this um, probably next week, because I'm pushing for time this week. But when we do, I think we're going to get some stunning macro images because it is very, very small. It's like that small. Okay. So, yeah, that is going to be a very interesting shoot when we do it. We might use our cork bark. We might use this. We could put him on there. Uh, he is what appears to be white and red. So we're going to see if we can use some sort of... Um, complementary colour for the background. I'll go through that when we do the shoot. But for now, that's all the purchases that we did at the uh, the spider show. There was only one jumping spider, and that was a female, exactly the same as Missy. I didn't really need another female, but they should be coming soon. 
Um, so we'll see what happens in the next few weeks with that. But for now, my name's Stuart Wood. Thank you for getting to the end of this video. Subscribe if you haven't done already. You know the rest because I do it on every single video. I'll see you on the next one.